Aogang residents have had an opposition voice in parliament for over two decades under Workers' Party chief Lao Tia Kiang and former MP Yao Xinliang. If elected, how will PEP candidate Desmond Chu speak up for Aogang residents against government policies while towing the party line? Of course, I have my own、uh, independent way of thinking, and as long as policies are in line with the long-term benefit of residents, in terms of the long-term benefit of Singaporeans. Then definitely I can agree with that. But if there are areas where I think that the government can do better, then let's speak up for this. Let's make sure that、uh, we lobby hard for it. Mr. Chu spoke to the media after launching the fall prevention program for the elderly at Aogang Community Club on Saturday. When asked if his lobbying efforts to reinstate the wet market in Aogang Avenue Three goes against the government's decision to demolish it five years ago, Mr. Chu said the needs of residents have changed since. I think what my proposal is to、uh, the government or MND、um, is a very clear one. Yes, you have your reasons、uh, for tearing down the market because you wanted to intensify the land use. But for me now, what is going to take care of the residents in the future? They need a market. They need commercial developments. Whatever reasons that you have before may not apply now. Let's look ahead. I've seen the new developments coming up. You have condo developments coming up. You have BTOs. You can have ECs. There's easily 2,000, 2,500 new units in the next two to three years, and we need to make sure that these are taken care of.、Uh, the number of people in Hokang is going to increase. Even around Hokang area is going to increase, and we must make sure that the amenities are in place to cater for such population increase. Mr. Chu added that the wet market is a clear example of how he is unafraid to speak up against policies. Up next, watch the full interview with Desmond Chu and stay tuned for more videos on the Yaogang by-election.